How'd the uh, the bye week help all the injuries you're still uh, fighting? Man, I mean, bye weeks always come in handy, especially you know later in the season to get your body right and all that kind of stuff. I was really excited for you know a lot of guys in practice. Uh, you know during bye week, it's not a it's not necessarily a bye week. You know it's just another week of prep and all that kind of stuff. So getting out here, moving around, and seeing a lot of young guys get good work too. I was really excited about that. What are the the strides that you guys feel like you were able to take during the bye? Man, I mean, I think we really focused on a lot of technique stuff, um, you know, throughout the season. Um, <clears throat> being able to prepare um, for um, an opponent with an extra week is always fantastic, but also, you know, getting that extra time for all that technique and fundamental stuff, especially uh, as a D lineman, it always comes in handy. Uh, you can't get lost in te technique, so I think that was the most important thing for us. When you look back at the, the film from the Washington game, what stood out to you from the defense's performance? Yeah, I mean, always trying to, you know, move on and keep looking at the next game ahead of us. But, you know, um, seeing some things that we did really well and then some things that we needed to get a lot better at, too. Um, specifically, um, uh, there's a D-line uh, room and all that kind of stuff. There's definitely some stuff that we needed to clean up, a lot of the fits and all that stuff. But, um, you know, it's coming in this next week. I think that's all things that we need to focus on um, is bringing those focuses from the last week. On the next one. How much does having a buy affect your ability to watch film or maybe what you dive into? Yeah, I mean, kind of going back to what I said, like that extra time really comes in handy um, from on the field time to off the field meeting room time really comes in handy, especially as an older guy being able to, like you said, get in the film room and looking at the next opponent and getting that extra couple days. I think the biggest thing for us was. Um, in the film room, though, you know, just you know, understanding the opponent that we have coming up, and really diving into um, all the specific things that they're doing. Coach Lynn mentioned you guys have to be on attack mode for the Nebraska offensive line. What stands out to you about the way that they've played in recent weeks? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming into this conference, you know what every team is going to bring, and I think with them especially, uh, they do a lot of good things. A lot of good things, and as a D line, uh, they're going to challenge you in a bunch of different ways. Um, Inside, outside, uh, down the field. So you got to be ready for it all. Got to be ready for it all. Who of some of the young guys have stood out to you over the last two weeks? You know, without a game, probably get a little bit more of an opportunity to see them play. Who stood out? Yeah, I mean, guys like um, Elijah Hughes and Jade, um, Jade Abbasiri, fantastic, uh, fantastic players, um, and younger guys that have had plenty of opportunities so far and keep getting more. Uh, and I think there's a lot of good things that they are doing. Um, Elijah, for example, uh, comes out here every day with that mentality to try to get better at, you know, one or two things, and I can see it every day that he's focusing on that, and that's going to take him so far. And same thing with Jade. Um, being such a young player and understanding the game the way he does is really fantastic. You guys all kind of praised what you learned from Coach Henny preseason. I guess I'm curious what he's taught you guys throughout the course of, you know, working with him for in-season work and, and going to practice, and what are some of the things you've been able to pick up from him? Yeah, fo focus on more in-season stuff, yeah. what he teaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I guess there's not a drastic change to his coaching style um, off-season to in-season. But one thing I would say in-season that I've been blessed to see is uh, – he doesn't get lost in the in the like monotony, you know. Um, a lot of players, you know, kind of experience, especially younger guys, experience like a lot of football uh, at the college level, um, day in and day out, compared to like the high school level. Um, and the way he coaches, you can tell that he's around every single day at the pro level. Uh, so he brings that kind of experience, and I think that helps a lot of the younger guys um, in season realize that how important every single day is on the practice field. Because oh shoot. Monday or Tuesday practice, you know, it's just another Tuesday. I mean, for me, it's almost like counting down practice at this point, even though you don't want to do that. But for these younger guys, you know, they think the whole the whole football career is ahead of them. But, you know, I think he really realizes that, you know, in the, at the pro level, one practice you can be, you know, started, the next one you can be cut. So I think bringing that kind of mentality, uh, you know, without even saying it. He really doesn't even say it, but that's just the way he coaches. I think that's something that's really beautiful about the way he coaches. How much of the, the countdown of practices that you have left, how much does that motivate you to, to take advantage of each one? Yeah, I didn't even really want to speak on it. Uh, but, yeah, we are when you're towards the back end of your career, you really got to realize the opportunities that you have and, you know, try to capitalize on every single one of them. So I think that's just where I'm at now. As a, as a veteran guy, how important is it to have that bowl game at the end of the season that you guys can win two more games? Man, I mean, yeah, especially uh, just having the home the home stretch here, the two out of the last three. Uh, it's fantastic. We have great showings every game uh, at the Cali. 
as far as attendance wise and I feel like we've played a lot of good ball at home um, especially on the defensive side of the ball but all across the board offense especially and defense so I think you know being able to you know have those home games and have teams coming here is going to be a great opportunity for us to really capitalize on it here at the end.